Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting reading to episode 4 of What's Your Mia Love Songs. It's gonna get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> Once again, the jelly. Talk about awkward with a capital A, because I mean, oof. <laughs> because, girl, like the way she was just like, mm -hmm. <laughs> what is too much? It's only like the first minute. Oh, uh, no, that's okay. Oh. Well, <laughs> mm -mm. it's cute. I hope so too.
there's a reason why. Look at the way she's looking at her. Come on. <laughs> Yeah, have you start? Yeah, I think the last time she did say, "Oh, okay, good, good." Yeah, this one's good, but it's not. It's not like the other one that I like. <laughs> Is it the gardening club? Oh, home economics. And besides, baking is good. You know, it takes a lot out of your stress. It relaxes you. Especially if you had a long day doing whatever, people irritating you. You go home, you bake, make some good behind cookies. Oh, my God. Because, you know, you can't, you can't do the other thing. The other thing is legal, illegal. You can't do that. No. So, baking is nice. <laughs> oh. 
Uh, hold on. And you can give them a lane too. Funny, isn't there another character name on the kind of another series that I've seen? Mm, what a coincidence. <laughs> She's so cute, oh my god. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god, she's counting the days. That's so adorable. Like, I just wanted to hear your voice. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Uh oh. It's either she knows Momoka or she doesn't like the fact that she's talking about her. And, and I get that. That's the jealousy in some people. You want to talk about it? You know, talking about your feelings would be okay, you know? Right, I mean, you're hella, it's hella obvious, babe.
Just say it. You're jealous. Yes. Yes. It's okay to be jealous. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's just love in a nutshell. It happens. There's nothing wrong with it. Oh, I, I don't think that'll happen. I mean, but I get it. You never really know what the other person's thinking. Right. You're like a freaking top tier hottie. So any, <laughs> Kino would definitely want to be with you. And no one can literally take Kino away from you. And see, here's the thing. Because like Aki's saying all these really good, nice things about her and such. Because once again, she's in love with her. She can't stop hiding the fact that she wants to be with her and such. And, and it's just like, Yori, read the room. Read the room, girl. <laughs> it's okay. Right. <laughs> and besides, I have a feeling these two, they technically like a couple. She had to be the one who left, Avi. Oh, you're giving her the pound cake. That's cute. Right? <laughs> 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 oh, oh, I can't.
I did the same thing if I had to too because you know for Kino I think for no for Aki I felt like Kino is just you know she's still in her feelings she's not really 100% sure and so oh it's just so freaking awkward shit I can't This is just going to make it more awkward between the three of them now because if Kino tells Yor and Yor confronts Aki. Oh, God. How the heck is that going to go? I, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's too much. <laughs> it's only half a seven four. <laughs> It's only episode four, and these girls want to be over here playing dirty. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh my god. I mean, I, I get it because, once again, us women, we can be very conniving in what the fuck we want, whether that is a guy, girl, and different. Um, but damn, Aki. I didn't think she would have did that. I mean, yes, questioning her, it is, it's the smart thing to do because it's like, we really need Kino to really, like, it, it, to be a thousand percent, per, like, on this. Like, she has to be very true with herself and her feelings. And right now, she's, like, at a, if I could give a percentage, maybe about, like, 25 or 50 percent, but she's not fully all in and so having someone come in who is like I do like her but not in a friend way I like her in a romantic way and I want to be with her so why don't you just back off and let me ha have her it's like when she Aki of course she's establishing dominance on this she's like this is who I want this is what I'm going to do to get her even if it's hurting someone's feelings Especially someone who I've known for such a long time and who also was friends with my little sister and such. But it's like, damn girl, can, are you really that conniving? This already just proved the girl is that freaking conniving and to get this girl. Because god dang, I was not expecting her to come in and just be ruthless, but not like that. Oh god, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> oh, I mean, because if that was like, if that was a real moment, you know, nine out of ten, there probably would have been like a fight, argument, or something. So it does make me wonder going into episode five next week if we're going to continue right from this moment or a little sometime after when we get flashbacks to this moment and such. Because. Uh, God, that was just very, very awkward as hell. And I feel bad for Kino. But also, okay, so the girl who's in the cooking club, it's clear that she's, of course, in love with a girl who has a guitar, who I'm guessing she was also in the former group before she left and such. So, I mean, we're going to see kind of multiple relationships. So, yeah, I wonder how this is going to go. Because, girl... The tea is there, and it's just... <sighs>
nuts. Who knows how this show is going to go? <clears throat> and honestly, it scares me. But it scares me in a good way. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode four of Whisper Me, a love song. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Metro Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode five. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.